Hello, welcome to my channel. These are going to be love messages for the sign of Leo. So take what resonates from them and leave what doesn't. You may be dealing with another Leo or somebody has Leo in their chart. So without further ado, let's get started and see what's going on and your perspective of uh, with your person or your perspective, your person's perspective and your about you or your relationship all together. Let's see if it's at the bottom of the deck. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, Leo, somebody um, putting the blame on you for something that you didn't do. Let's see what's going on. Love with Leo's. See what we got again here. I can't stop staring at you. Someone's watching you, Leos. We have July coming out. So something could have happened in July or July is significant to you. Or your person. Could be an anniversary, wedding, I don't anything here. Engagement happened. I don't know. Um, can we just kiss all night? I love the way your lips caress mine, Leo. Okay, so you're in separation with your person, most likely. I haven't got that far yet, but we'll see. So yeah, your person misses you. They like the way your your lips touch theirs. They love the way that they're soft, okay? Or you like this. We have behind the scenes, so something is hidden. Something that you're unaware of, Leo, or your person is unaware of, or there's just not being communicated. Something's happening behind the scenes here. We have Capricorn energy. Leo, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could just have Capricorn in your chart. Or it just could be something this season. During Capricorn season, something will be happening behind the scenes, okay? We have, I want to fulfill your needs, baby. So this person is um, uh, very um, attractive to you or you very attractive to, to them, Leo, which, you know, you are. You're very passionate, very strong, very courageous, right? You uh, put yourself out there. You are hot and beautiful, right? Whether you're male or female. So this person wants to fulfill your needs or you're wanting to fulfill their needs. So we have consequences. So I don't know what happened between you and your person here, uh, Leo, but someone's having to deal with some consequences. They blamed you for for something that you didn't do, and now they're having to deal with the consequences, or you're blaming, so vice versa. Reverse those roles as they're needed. It says your laugh is contagious here, so this person likes the way you laugh. They like the way you smile. Um, you, you're good company together, it seems like. You get along well. All right, we have March. Sorry. March should be significant. The number three is if you've been seeing 333 three, three lately, then this could be significant for you here. Um, something happened in March or something may be happening here in March. You could be dealing with... Um, is it Pisces? Yeah. Could be dealing with a Pisces here. Doesn't have to be. And we have synchronicity, so repeating number sequence, sequences. Like I said, if you've been seeing three, three, threes, or um, you've been hearing songs, this person obviously looking at their pictures or social media. So um, you may be doing the same, okay? You guys may be mirroring each other a little bit here. I'm, I'm not seeing that yet, but it's a possibility, okay? So let's keep going. I love your mind, and it was also in reverse, so maybe... Uh, one of you does and one of you doesn't hear something going on in the mind, okay? Whether there's some a little bit of mind games that were played, Leo, or not, whether on your part or your person's part, um, they feel like you're very smart, okay? We have safe and smart choices. So, Leo, I do feel like this is your energy. This could be on both parts also. But somebody has decided to make uh, safe and smart choices, maybe um, due to having to deal with some of the consequences, you know, that they put the blame on you for here. We, uh, you take my breath away. I forget how to breathe when I'm with you. This person feels like they live and breathe you. Okay. They may be watching you all day long, maybe through the night also. Okay. But, um, either you're feeling this, if you are in separation with this person, they're feeling this too. Okay. It's being mirrored. We have don't look back, so I don't know if you're deciding, Leo, here not to look back. You're kind of done with the situation here, or if this is the person, this is your person. 
it's about leaving the past in the past also. So what has already happened, kind of being okay with it, you know, the uh, it didn't go as planned type situation here, Leo, okay? So I don't feel like you're looking back to this situation. You may look back to reminisce, you know, about some good times that you had, but I feel like you're moving forward, okay? We have stuck in the past not knowing how to move forward. I just said this. <laughs> so yeah, um, somebody's still stuck in the past, you know, they want to come in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to move forward and wants to continue this relationship kind of where you left off, Leo. Whereas to not starting it on a clean slate as, you know, if that's something that you're interested in and restarting another cycle of this situation, if you are in separation with this person. But somebody is stuck in the past here. Let's keep going. We have cheating and fidelity. So somebody was cheating or somebody was not uh, faithful here in this situation, Leo. You'll know if that's you or your person. We have proceed with caution. We also wanted to come into reverse. So um, just be aware of any red flags. If this is a previous person and they come back into your life at this time, okay? Or you're aware of this cheating and infidelity, okay? And are unable to, you know, move forward past it. Uh, never uh, never going to change. This person says they're never going to change. They're always going to keep up with these ways because these are um, what they've conformed to, what they're used to. It's what they know, okay? They don't know um, what a healthy relationship dynamic is like, um, Leo. I almost wanted to say Aries, and I just did Aries reading. So um, you may be dealing with an Aries here, but this person is not going to change their ways. They've grown accustomed to it. It's something that, you know, possibly they... they have developed, they have learned um, these relationship patterns and they've come comfortable with that. And, you know, a lot of us are resistant to change and this person is resistant to that and unwilling to um, compromise in any situation. It seems like it's their way or the highway. Okay. We have putting in the effort. So I feel like this is your energy, Leo, Leo, Lear. Okay. I don't know, whatever. I feel like this is your energy, Leo. I feel like that you were putting in all the effort into this relationship, okay? And maybe this person wasn't putting in um, little or next to nothing, okay? I can't help myself. I have impure thoughts about you all the time. This person is constantly thinking about you in an intimate way also. You know, there could be some um, masturbation involved here also, too. Um, and you may be picking that up also, Leo's. Um, in some sense, you know, if you have a deeper connection with this person, depending on, you know, what your relationship dynamic was when you were with them. We have exploring how deeply I feel for you. I don't understand this connection. This person um, has a difficult time expressing their emotions. They hold back a lot of things. Leah. And I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like this is the person that you're dealing with here. We have, I'm sorry. So this person wants to tell you they're sorry. Maybe they haven't yet. Uh, maybe they will be reaching out here. We have, don't give up on us or our love. So this person doesn't want you to give up, but they also are not willing to change and they're not willing to compromise in any way. So I don't know how, um, Leo, that a relationship is going to be able to be sustained if, there's no boundaries here, okay? No way to compromise. We have Aries. And it was in reverse here. Someone is mad and upset. Maybe upset with how this situation um, has came out, you know? Maybe did not go as planned. This person may have plan this out. You know, this could have been a serial dater. Okay. Someone that just wanted to have their way, you know, their cake and eat it too type of, um, energy here. Okay. Now you could also have Aries in your chart and this could be your energy, Leo, but, um, someone is very angry. They're upset. They're mad. Um, they are just very unstable at this time. Okay. Uh, as to how the situation didn't pan out the way that they would have liked it to. And we have player, but the player is in reverse. So maybe somebody is going to change their player ways. Like I said, it, this reading is like player energy also. Let's check uh, the reading that I just did on um, Aries. Because Aries came out again here. So um, this person may have been a player. 
Maybe they've decided to change their ways. I don't know, Leo. It's going to be up to you. There is nothing we can't do together. So, But this also wanted to come in reverse. So um, maybe you feel like there's kind of the damage has already been done here, okay? This person obviously wants a second chance. They want an opportunity to come back in. But have they really changed? That's the question, right? They're not willing to change. Have they really changed? It's paying attention to that to those signs if this person comes back and if it's a past person um so many things remind me of you and us okay so yeah okay so they're they're watching you they're reminiscing they have a lot of memories and they want to make more memories here with you on another level so this person thinks that you're on another level Maybe you think that you're on another level and they're just not on your level. Maybe there's a little bit of immaturity here, okay? Um, Leo, We have. I want to tell you how I really feel, but I'm afraid. Yes, this personally, this personally. <laughs> don't take this personally. I don't <laughs> this person hides their emotions. There's too much, too much hidden. They put on this armor and this guard, you know, to keep their heart protected. For what reason? For um, emotional traumas that they've had possibly in other relationships or other relationship dynamics or you know from learned from their parents relationships or their grandparents relationships or their aunts and uncles just relationships they've seen over their lifetime okay they have hid this maybe they've seen a lot of painful relationships and they don't want to put themselves in that type of situation in order you know to allow themselves to be heartbroken right so it's hard for them. It's difficult for them. Now, it's being with this person that's not able to open up to you or not able to communicate with you or just unwilling because of the traumas that they've seen or the traumas that they've been through. And we have tender love. Swipe right. So this could have been somebody that you met on Tinder or social media. It doesn't have to be. Um like I said, it, may, it could be just a serial dater, okay? Someone that just likes to date whoever they can to fill a void, okay? Because they're not willing to change, Leo. I can't stop staring at you. Yes, I said that already. They're staring at your pictures, social media, whatever platforms that you have. Why would you still want me after all that I said and done? This person feels like that whatever damage has been done here, that um, there may not be a co any coming back from that they feel a little bit hopeless in um, a reconciliation. I, I don't know what I had to pause there for a second. A reconciliation. Oh, they also say that they're under a spell. Leo, your person feels like they're under a spell, whether they feel like you put them under a spell or somebody's got them under a, a some kind of spell. Okay. Now, this could be possible. It could be someone that they met online that put them under a spell that's got them trapped in a situation here, okay? Now, it's not going to be for everybody, Leo. It could be you. They're trying to put you under a spell, okay, to keep you trapped in this situation. I will always choose you. This person could always also say this to other people. This could be one of their one-liners. I will always choose you no matter what. You're my only one. I only want to be with you and give you all these lines, okay? You know, all those lovely pickup lines that tell you the, how much they care about you and they want to be with you just to keep you stuck in a situation. You make me weak at the knees. This person says that you make them weak at the knees. Maybe they think they are under a spell. Maybe they are. Who knows? People are a little loco, you know? out there not everyone <laughs> leo's here my leos are really smart so i want to make things right this person wants to come back and make things right but i don't know a lot a lot has been uh done here a lot of mind games trickery um people wanting to do whatever they want to do in the relationship and and there's so much control here have to have control over your situation the long distance is killing me. I miss you. This person is at a long distance or at some type of distance or you're at a, at a distance with this person. Even if you are together, you're missing each other. You're not actually together. You're not communicating, okay? And we have prediction. 
So somebody may have made a prediction here. Somebody said something was going to happen and maybe somebody didn't listen to the information that was given and it happened or it's going to happen. And this is a warning now that this is being predicted and we have child support. So somebody's dealing with some child support. And girl next door, so this could have been a girl next door, a guy next door. This could have been a girl down the street. This could have been a girl somebody, uh, a girl or guy somebody worked with, okay? This could have been a an ex. This could have been a wife or a husband, okay? You had child children together. They've got you under a spell. They're holding children over your head here, Leo. I dream of you. And we have rebellious. So this person is rebellious. They kind of want to do what they want and listening. Maybe they are deciding to listen at this time. Maybe they're kind of waking up to things here. And we have apology. Like somebody wants to come in and give you an apology. And yes, you are in separation. And there was a lot of competition that was put in place in this uh, relationship dynamic, Leo. Whether it was on your part or it was on the person that you were dealing with here. And like I said, they feel kind of hopeless. So that there's no coming back from this situation, even though they feel like they want to be with you. But they also want to have other options, okay? And realize, Leo, that um, you are also an option. And you also have options here. So um, whether this is uh, something that you're willing to work through, Leo, the, you know, it's all free will here if you're able to forgive the situation and move on. If not, this may just be foreclosure for you. So those are the messages that I have for you. Hopefully they resonated. And uh, if they did, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate um, everything you do to support me in this channel. And... I wish you happy holidays and a lot of love, light, and blessings.